Hello and welcome to Simplified Ripley Studies. In this session, I am going to discuss the important details of voltage telemetry system. You know, voltage telemetry system is one of the landline telemetry system. How does voltage telemetry system can be used as a telemetry system? Let us discuss about the details of voltage telemetry system. I would like to introduce the schematic diagram of voltage telemetry system. First of all, you can observe we have a DC supply. Then there is a voltage divider. This is called a voltage divider, which is connected with a burden tube. What is a burden tube? It is a device which is used to measure pressure without any power. That is called a burden tube. Then you can, as, as I already said that, it's a DC landline system or uh, telemetry, uh, landline telemetry system. So these are the telemetry channel. So we can say this is a transmitter, okay? Transmitter side. And uh, other side, we can call it as receiver side, receiver end, or receiver end, or receiver side. Anything is fine. So these are the telemetry channel. How does it work? As we can see, the potential divider, how it works? It works based on the voltage division rule or voltage division formula. With respect to the input of burden tube, the position of the slider will be changing. We can see the slider, which is, where is the slider? Can you see the slider? Let me mark, this is your slider of a potential divider, slider. As the pressure changes, well, definitely there is a changes in the burden tube. The burden tube is connected with the, the slider. Slider also will be getting changed. With respect to the changes in the position of the slider, what is going to happen? Uh, the lead, the lead is also getting varied. Definitely the voltage, there is a variation in the voltage. So that will be directly reaches at the receiving end side. Okay, here obviously, I think you are understanding. Definitely the voltage variation that will be happening over here, that will be directly uh, reaches to the receiving end side. What are all the things which is available in the receiving end side? Yes, there is a uh, calibrated device is available. Okay, uh, the device is calibrated at, in the range of kilo, this much of kilo Newton per meter square. Newton per meter square is nothing but Pascal, right? Yeah, uh, the potential, the, the meter, the voltmeter that is calibrated in terms of uh, a Pascal, in terms of Pascal, where Pascal is the unit of pressure, kilo Newton per meter square. Here, with respect to changes, with respect to any changes in the burden tube, any changes in the pressure that will be directly connected with the burden tube, then the information will be transmitted through the uh, telemetry channel and that will be reaches at the end, uh, receiving end side. Here, at the receiving end side, you can see a voltmeter, a, vol a voltmeter that is calibrated in terms of uh, pressure, in terms of pressure. You can just like it, uh, it, uh, it gives the equivalent reading of pressure. So, Pressure, the information is pressure. The pressure is transmitted. The information, in, which is in terms of pressure, that will be transmitted from the sending inside to receiving inside. That is what exactly happening over here. You can directly uh, check it up. This is the way how uh, voltage telemetry system operated. For your better what I have done is, uh, I have made a PPT for you people so that you can go through that particular PPT. So let me show you what I have written. As you can observe the slide, see, I have, first of all, I have mentioned uh, the details of voltage telemetry system. Uh, it, ca it can be uh, used as AC or DC voltage. There is no issue. Uh, the distance is restricted up to 300 meter. If you want to go for 300 meter, you need to come out of uh, the landline telemetry system. You need to go for some other type of system. The construction, the major component is a slide wire. Can you see the slide wire? I already shown you. The slide wire is this one only. This is your slide wire. Okay. Then signal transmitting uh, media will be copper. These wires are copper wire. Okay, copper wire. Sliding contact is connected with the burden tube because with respect to changes in the physical system, burden tube is getting activated. Correct. As the pressure changes, the burden tube is also getting changed. In the receiving end side, what are the things? Null balanced DC potentiometer, which is calibrated uh, in terms of a uh, pressure gauge, like a kilonewton per meter square. 
so we can use the record also that is also possible okay uh, it works in a simple fashion like uh, the changes in the pressure uh, that will be sensed by the burden tube the burden tube activates the slider potentiometer because all are connected uh, the voltage changes at a receiving end with respect to changes in pressure transfer will be measured okay the meter at the end meter will be uh, calibrated in terms of pressure so uh, in receiving end side with the help of a null balance potentiometer indicator calibrated in terms of pressure scale that means pressure scale means kilo newton per meter square or you can call it as pascal kilo pascal that is also fine all right now i am moving on to applications what are the major applications of voltage telemetry system so voltage telemetry system is employed in microphones uh, then tachometer which is used to measure the speed then burden tube so these are the various applications where voltage telemetry system can be used what are the setbacks of voltage telemetry system see the distance of transmission is a major constraints only up to 300 meter you can go ahead with the voltage telemetry system suppose if you require more than one you have to depend for some advanced one the receiver calibration is very much costly it is somewhat tricky more technical knowledge is required so basically we can say that at the receiving end side uh, the pressure is measured in terms of voltage so calibration is one of the major challenge okay Presentation I have mainly discussed how does voltage telemetry system works, what are the construction details, uh, then I have discussed the application and the drawbacks. Let me know if you are having any questions, you can put up in the comment box. Finally, thank you so much for watching this video.